If you're looking for a nice lightweight CRM solution for your business, look no further than this video. I'm going to be going into detail about how you can use JotForm tables to put up a quick and easy CRM to help you keep track of the important information for your business. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I am the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you want to learn more about how we do that, do check the links below in the description. I'll make sure that we have a link to our YouTube channel there. But without further ado, let's jump into the heart of this video. We're talking all about JotForm tables and using it to put together a nice CRM for your business. So the place to start is jotform.com slash table dash templates slash category slash CRM. Now don't bother typing all that in. We will include a link to this below, but this is where you can go to check out some great templates that JotForm has already put together for you for a lot of different use cases. Now in our case, we want to do a CRM. So here we are in the CRM templates and there are a lot of great ones out here, but specifically I'm going to kick this off with the small business CRM. And we're going to talk about a lot of the different features of this template and how you can put it to use for you. So of course, to start, we're going to need to use the template. So we'll click on this and it's going to automatically create this template for us inside of our JotForm account. So one of the first things to notice is that we start off with some sample data here. Shouldn't be too surprising. We can go ahead and clean this up when we're done exploring and putting in our own data. But for example purposes, this serves really nicely. Now you'll also draw your attention here to the top. You'll see that we have a bunch of tabs here. We have contacts, products, activities, and team and deals. So these five different categories are different sets of data inside of our CRM, but they're all interrelated. And that's kind of one of the magic elements of JotForm tables. So on contacts, of course, this is where we're going to store the data that relates to people. So every time we come into contact with somebody, we would add their contact information here and we have a name and we have a lead. So, or, or I'm sorry, a type. So are they currently a lead or have they already converted to customer? And then we're also going to track their email address and phone number. This is of course, important contact information. And then you might have something like source for your business as well. So how did this person come to be? a lead for your business? Did they come in through a seminar, through advertisement? How are you getting the word out? So that's in a nutshell, our contacts tables here or table moving into our next table of products. These are the different things that we sell or offer in our business. So in this case, we have just the product name and the unit price, pretty straightforward moving into activities. This is where we're taking a log of all of the different interactions or activities that we've had with our contacts. So what is the type of activity? And we have a, a bunch to choose from here, from this dropdown. Also, who did that activity uh, engage? So who, who from the contacts were we interacting with? And of course, a nice little date to say when and uh, when and <laughs> when and when that happened. Now, lastly, uh, you'll notice that we're taking some notes and also adding who had that contact. So these, this is a list of representatives or team members from our team as well. Flipping into the next one with that segue is our team. So who is on our team? Who's out there making contact and what are the different positions for those folks? And then lastly, we have our deals here and on our deals table, we're tracking who bought from us the contact what stage that deal is in. So is it uh, in negotiation? Is it closed? Is it that the contract is out there? You know, where are we with this? Have we closed and, and won this, uh, this deal? What is the value of the deal? And also what are they looking to buy? What are those products that we're connecting to? So how does all of this stuff interrelate? Well, that's kind of the magic, as I said before, of using this relational database element of JotForm tables. So in this case, we've got our contacts, our products, our activities, our team and our deals, and they're all connected. They're all working together. So if you're curious about how that's set up in any template, not just this one, you can always click on the columns here and take a look at the different columns. Now on any particular tab, 
only a certain number of columns are going to be showing up. So whoever built this template has decided to hide a good number of these columns, and that's probably in the best interest of a lot of us when we're starting to use this so that it's not overwhelming. But if we wanted to see things like the email address, well, of course, we know what the email address is from the contact. Or if we want to see their phone number, or if we want to know how they heard about us, well, all this information is connected to the contact, so we have access to it here because we've already been connected to the contact with every deal. So if you ever want to look at how these different pieces are interrelated, that's the way to do it. Here is where we have that connection from deals to contacts. So we can actually look at this in more detail by editing the connection and seeing exactly how that's set up. Now, there are a couple of ways that we can enter new data into our database. First and foremost, we have the form itself. So this is, of course, a huge benefit to using JotForm tables is that JotForm tables is seamlessly integrated with JotForm forms. So in this case, we can just hit in the upper right hand corner, select form and view form. In this case, we want to see the contacts form. So this will be a form for new contacts and anybody can enter their information into our database. So I could pick myself and put in my email address here, put in a phone number and say, of course, how we heard about this uh, company and submit that data. And by flipping back into our form, give it a moment and sure enough, it shows up here in our database. Anything that I filled out as a user is automatically pulled in here and our team would need to come in and add changes to this data. So starting out as a lead and hopefully upgrades to customer at some point. Now, the other way, of course, is to just fill this data out internally. So if we didn't want someone to fill out the form externally, we can actually add that information by clicking inside of our database on the add button. We can add somebody here, make them, you know, whatever status we have here and put in all of the missing pieces of information. So we can just write directly here as needed as well. So this is a great way for us to enter data in the day to day. Generally speaking, internal data, things that we're going to put into our database from our business perspective as part of our business operations, we'll do directly inside of JotForm tables. But the form is a great way to capture data for people external to the business. And similarly, we can add new products here as well. We can add new activities, et cetera, et cetera. Now, one other cool feature of JotForm tables is the ability to generate a really quick report. So inside of our CRM, if we wanted to do some quick analysis on, let's say, our deals table here, we can do so by going into the upper left corner, selecting from the list and running a report builder. And this is going to give us a little bit of a prompt here. We can name the report. I'll call this report example. If you want to do a compact report or a, an extended report, they come with their different options here, or you can start from scratch. In this case, let's say I just want to throw together an extended report and create. This is great because it's instantly putting this all together for us. And so not only is it looking at the form in particular, that is the name form that people are filling out, but it's looking at all the different data that lives in our database. So in this case, we're looking at the status of deals. So how many of them are in proposal sent, how many of them are in closed, lost, uh, contract sent, etc. In this case, of course, we have five different deals in five different stages, but you can imagine how this would give you a really great high level glimpse of how the business is doing. You can see that all of these different charts and graphs were automatically created for us. Some of them don't necessarily pertain and we would probably want to do some editing, but it's fantastic that with just the click of a button, an entire form is generated for us. Here we're looking at uh, how our leads came in. So this would be a great way for us on some quick analysis to say, hey, advertisings are uh, working twice as well for us as the other stuff, for example. So you get the idea of how many different things you can look at thanks to this automatically generated report of another very cool feature of JotForm tables. 
Well, that's it for this video, but before you go, please let us know in the comments below if you're using Jotform CRM to streamline your business. We'd love to know how you're using tables and what kind of value you're getting from it. So just drop a quick note and let us know your feedback. Thanks so much for tuning in.